Hi, I'm Benjamin Sokomba Dazi, and I want to welcome you to this iClone 8 tutorial. As you all know, I'm an animator, and my major 3D tool is um, iClone. And I'm so excited to uh, bring you this tutorial from the new iClone 8. And you all know iClone 8 was just launched, um, and it came with a lot of features so we are going to explore these features so for today's tutorial we are going to um, see how we can enhance our visual uh, our visuals in our projects in iClone 8 um, so we are going to uh, start with the volumetric lighting we all know that volumetric lighting is nice it's good for enhancing your your shots your scene and making it look more organic and atmospheric so let's just start i have a scene here that i've already prepared as we can all see there's no there's no lighting in the in the scene it's just dark and we are just going to light it up and see how the whole volumetric lighting is going to make it look uh, more visually appealing so the first thing we are going to do is we will make sure we uh, turn on our global illumination we check it make sure it's on the global illumination usually yeah, at default setting everything works well so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to create our uh, point light and what we are going to do here is trying to give the scene an ambience just to make everything have this sort of ambi uh, ambience in the scene ambient lightning so let's choose a color here for this lighting let's use something cool like blue or something just bluish and we're going to just strategically place them to lighten the scene so let's come here and create we'll come to create and we'll create uh sorry not create duplicate we're going to duplicate more of this light that i've put here so don't forget we are using uh, points light in this scene so as you can see if you put point light here it's casting very hard shadows and it's not really good for the scene so when it's causing a lot of hard shadows that you don't want to deal with what you do is just come to the modify and you switch off the shadow and you see you just have only the light source and you just just keep duplicating the control for duplicate is control shift d So, still duplicate it. We're just trying to create this ambience in the scene, lighting up the scene with all this ambience just to give it a nice, subtle look. So, that's it for the ambience. And so, we are going now to the main thing that's the created the volumetric lighting. So, we are trying to get volumetric lighting from this window. First of all, we're going to create. Um, a spotlight now not point light spotlight and we we'll place it at that position close to the window there where we want to bring in our volumetric effect so carefully place the light there let's just put it here for now and now come to the modify panel and you check for this you scroll down to volumetric light and you switch it on you can see it's already showing here so once you play with the parameters especially the medium density multiplier that's what we're going to work with you move it you can see that it's much it can be it could be harsh it could be subtle just like this just depending on what you're trying to make so you carefully place yes let's say here Careful place it there and let's just change the color you can change the color from here that's the color is scatter color and it's bluish i'll change it to blue or you can just come simply go to the light source this multiplier and change the color there also let's let's just choose the cool color say blue so you can now see how subtle it is and how it's giving the scene more depth so 
the next thing we are going to do let's create um, volumetric from this uh, let's create light source here and bring this volumetric here too so here we are going to create sp another spotlight and place it directly under the lamp under this lamp and by the way these uh these models that i used as this scene was gotten from the reillusion content store they have beautiful uh, nice mod and well modeled um props and assets that you can use for your projects and this is this is one of them out of many you can check it out at religion.com and uh, the content store the marketplace so this is we've placed our lights our spotlights inside the lamp now let's change the color to a warmer color now So let's use this yellowish golden color so you still scroll down to the modify and you go to the volumetric to activate it you play with the medium density multiplier and you can see it's now obvious now you can see this is going out of place you can now the spotlight beam you can modify it the angle if you don't want it to be out of place and you can just realign it let's say to this place a little see and it's good to use it from different angles just to see that everything is aligned properly let's, let's come here a little take it lower you know what matters is from the angle your camera is showing from it's where your camera is showing from that really matters or where your camera is capturing rather if in some cases you see that the light beam is too narrow at the top and you want it to fill here you just come to this modify and as this is what they call starts you can just move it to maybe two or oh, this is how it is it becomes less narrow And just try and put yep I can raise it to realign it yep so let's see this this looks good a little and you can keep playing around with it till you get exactly what you are looking for so let's duplicate this again the light to put it here so you make sure the light is inside the lamp not on top of the lamp so you can just take your time to readjust this to you get what you are looking for how you want it so you can see the volumetric lights here just like I said, the, you can keep tweaking it if you have that a lot of time to and patient for what you want. You can work on the angle and just keep aligning it to get what you want and. Your, the desired result you are looking for. So have volumetric here too, just to give that. So let's look at it from the frame. So you can see that it's there, it's there. I just saw too from this. So you always remember it, it. It depends on the angle, the frame of your camera. It might not look well placed for me from the preview camera, but that doesn't matter. It what matters is the final frame 
you are trying to capture so let's this now now this place to make it more like to give it that source light source we come to the lamp light that's this and we'll just go to glow and give it a nice warm effect you can have your own custom texture but it's just what i'm working with now do it for this too lamp light let's put it like glowy texture and again you can use your own can create your own texture and just work with it and i'm just working with what is available right now so um now we still have other we still have other places we want to put our volumetric lighting so let's sorry let's duplicate let's duplicate this and move it yeah. you can start to put it at the door that that will be cool too it does depend on the look you are trying to make but let's just put this at this window also so that we can have this effect at this window too so just like what I said it depends on, it depends on the angle of your capture of like where you're trying to capture the camera so the placement that will determine how your placement is not from the preview camera sorry i'm trying to realign this camera or this light yeah yep so can switch off all the lights if you want so that if you want to see the scene well i don't want any obstruction so you can see the volumetric light from this window and from this lamp all in the scene there's something i want to do i noticed that this wall is kind of looking very very boring i need it to be have depth and be more interesting so let's create a point light here what I'm putting here is not volumetric light here, but it's just part of things, tips or techniques you can use to uh, give a scene nice look and depth. So I'm going to go to the modify panel under this point light, put a texture, the IES, and let's go. There are a lot of textures here. Let's go with tracking. So what I'm trying to do here is trying to make it look like this spotlight is giving is eliminating this part of the wall so you can see it there so let's let's duplicate it and put in the other uh, light from the ceiling so this is another one I can now see it let's save it it's giving the scene this nice uh, make it look interesting instead of just a boring plain wall without anything happening so this is how we get this here and let's try it for a different angle trying to now i'm still going to i feel the wall i'm still going to use the same technique i've just feel this wall is too plain so let's create light uh, point light here also and give it that texture let's come here first and we'll come to the modify um the ies let's go with tracking don't forget there are lots of um, texture you can use but i'm just working with the tracking effects mind you the effect won't won't show till it's being it's close the light is close to its surface till it's casting on a surface that's how it works so it just depend on how you want to show it now let's duplicate this also 
and put one here so you can see it looks very nice instead of just um, a boring wall and so there you have it this is how you um, enhance your visual um, scene in iClone 8 using the volumetric effects lights and different uh, different textures on the light so this will give your scene more depth make it more interesting and try uh, it's not going to make it um, um, plain and boring so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i hope you start making wonderful projects with the new icon 8 and explore these new features to enhance your project thank you for having me